Okay, what's up everyone? Uh, we're here. I'm playing a video at four times speed and I'm going to try to explain it live. So, we're doing math. No art this time. You guys are all artists already. You already learned how to draw the Sistine Chapel. We're learning about math. Let's fucking go. Let's begin. We're going to go from nothing to calculus in only some kind of minutes. Probably seven. I don't really know. Uh, this is like take four, so the screen is lying to you. The, your life is a lie. Let's start with the tally mark. That can be anything. Represents an item. Depression. The dollar. Who knows? Make that a digit. The number one. Got him. Put those together. Get addition. What's addition? I don't really know. Involves a plus sign. Get more digits. The number five. Four, five, five. M more digits. God damn, that's a lot of digits. Let's not make more. Let's instead use base 10. Decimals. More numbers. Less numbers. Uh, let's take away numbers now. Subtraction. Another damn bulb for our ideas of goodness. Let's make it, instead, a simpler bulb. Kind of looks like something else. We're not going to mention that. Let's go. 2 minus 1. 1. Subway. Subtraction. Eat fresh. 1 minus 1. 0. Nothing. I have nothing left in my life. I'm making this video that's sad enough. Take away more than 1 from 1. Negative 1. Negative numbers. I owe you money. Do I owe you money? I hope not. Kyle, Carl, Peter, hope you guys aren't watching this video. Uh, crap. Multiplication. Let's go. What if we want to add a lot of things together? Multiple times. Let's do it. 2 times 3, 17. Wow. Uh, what else do we want to do? Oh, what if we want to multiply sequences of numbers together? This is useful for uh, statistics, maybe. Uh, don't really need to know that right now, but it's called factorial. And it's so exciting that we put a goddamn exclamation point next to it. Have you ever done that in your life? Never. You get to make math exciting. But what if we want to multiply even more? This is going so fast. Holy fucking shit. Uh, 2 to the 7th is a number. 2 to the 6th? Wow. Even less number. Uh, but what if I have too much and I want to split that up? Let's say I have four heads and I need to put them into two buckets. How can I do that? Split it into two people per bucket. I mean heads. I mean uh, apples. But what if I split up one thing into multiple parts? Then, broken heart, get fractions. Five over ten, one half. Half a heart, um, you're dead. Point five. Oh, right, decimals. That's a thing that you can get by using base ten again. Isn't that fantastic? Two light bulb dicks. PEMDAS. You now know every uh, operation, uh, intermission, quiz time. What is 4 plus 3, I think, using the tally system, that's the number 7. Quiz 2, electric lawn bo boogaloo. Uh, big number times big number, my fucking name is Jeff. Uh, what happens if we don't know a number? You can actually replace numbers with letters. Spelling and math, who knew? Uh, welcome to variables. 5 plus 4, what is that? Question mark, no. 9, no. Number, X. What if that number gets multiplied by another number, or added? Who knows what to do? Ah, oh, another question mark. Sub another letter. Why? You now have functions. Welcome to the goddamn party. You have passed the seventh grade. Algebra. 5x plus 7 equals y. What if we made a chart that represented that? Uh, lines. Welcome to lines. You've drawn the line. Shit is whack. Uh... But now we can actually make bendy lines. And how do we make a bendy line? Well, you really just want the second variable to go up way faster than the first one. What do you do? You multiply the first one by itself. X squared, uh, parabolas. Welcome to polynomials. Oh, don't really know where I was going with that one. Uh, but 5x plus 7 equals y. How do we know if that changes? We can take a small section of that and be like, whoa, uh... Uh, let's go uh, y per x, and we get a change. Uh, I did x per y, that's wrong. y per x uh, fucking slopes. Uh, got him. How does, uh, how does y grow while x grows? You know what I'm saying? Wink, wink. Um, but what if we have a really whack line? A line, uh, two subtraction doesn't cut it. Gotta get small. So let's zoom in. Magnifying glass. We get... Uh, smaller and then let's get smaller again and we have a smaller area and let's get even a smaller difference and eventually wow that kind of looks like a line doesn't it so we can probably just take the difference of that so clear uh we're gonna call that dy over dx whoa what do you know 
We've now made it to calculus. You are now graduating high school. You have a degree in your hand and you're still five years old. What is wrong with you? Uh, it turns out that a line, uh, its derivative is just a flat line. Um, if you add all those flat line values up, you get what's the line back. What's that called? An integral. Uh, my name, Jeff, fundamental law of calculus. Uh, go forward with derivatives, go backwards with integrals. Uh, then with that you can go with geometry. What happens if you have a flat line and it only goes a certain distance? Uh, take the integral of that, uh, got a rectangle. You know, get the height of 1, add 1 plus, you know, let's say that goes for 5. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, 5 times 1, 5 rectangles, width times height. Welcome to the party again. You've now returned to the 7th grade because they teach this in this order for no reason. Triangles. Draw a box. What's the triangle is half that box? So you can do one half bh. You can do an integral if you're an idiot, if you're a stupid man, or 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 you just do one half uh, base time height. Welcome again back to the party. Now we go to circles. Super math. Do I remember how that works? I think it has to do with polar coordinates, radii. You know, eventually take derivatives, something. You get it. You know how to do this. You've graduated high school. Pi r squared. That's the area. Uh, uh, take the integral derivative to pi r diameter. More circles. Sine squared plus cosine squared. Now you know about the net. You know about those now. Pythagoras a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Done. Well, uh, let's. Uh, you've graduated. Moving on. Biology. Cells. Powerhouse of the cell. Golgi apparatus. Uh, astrophysics. Uh, black holes. Light. Uh, thank you. You've you've now graduated. Degree, PhD, happy math. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>